Historical picture of Clem McDonald, title page with text, data standards reduce errors and duplication. The National Library of Medicine, accelerating biomedical discovery and data-powered health. Clem McDonald, MD, Senior Investigator, Office of the Director, NLM. We've been involved in standards sort of beginning of my career because if you don't have standard data structures and standard codes, you can't collect data and join it together to make a big enough mass to do anything useful with. And Text at bottom of the screen reading the National Library of Medicine, accelerating biomedical discovery and data-powered health. And it was part of a mission of an LM to standardize data so you could combine it in some way. Text reading data sets, effective tools for tracking and analyzing important information, side-by-side -side visualization of patient walking and real-time data monitoring of patient. Scientists and doctors speaking with each other in an office in front of whiteboard and analyzing computers displaying coding and medical images. Data sets are a set of standardized, repetitive sets of variables on a lot of different individuals or instances, whatever it is that you're studying. We analyze them and we conclude whether this is true or that's true. Uh, but it, of course, all data sets aren't equally good. You want the right data sets with the right data in them. It's not easy. Uh, with converting data into this learning healthcare system. But that's the idea. If we gather the data, we can adjust to what we do in healthcare. More recently, we've been specializing in looking at big data sets and trying to draw important medical conclusions from them. So Medicare is one of the really big data sets. Medicare has very complete data set on people over 65 for certain things. So it knows all the drugs, it knows all the health events because of billing. Image of a website displaying an article on the American Gastroenterological Association. We've done a number of things, including looking at PPIs, protein pump inhibitors, omeprazole, and that that were somehow they were dangerous. And uh, we showed that they, they were not dangerous. One of the things that we found for sure was Paxlovid, which is the suggested treatment when you get COVID, is very helpful. It reduces mortality about 30 or 40 percent, maybe 60 percent in some populations. The approach is to find a big database and analyze it to see what you can find out of that big database. There's a tendency for um, scientists or science to become a little bit in love with its own thoughts. And so it's fun if you can find a way to turn it ups upside down and get them thinking that look at alternatives. It isn't always what you thought it was. Finding a good question and finding data that can answer those questions is the primary, primary job of a, of a good researcher. Blue and gray NIH, NLN logo, serving scientists in society. 